Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Henderson with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys why your local service ads, the AKA Google Guaranteed ads, are not performing. Because I'm hearing little rumblings in the exterior cleaning industry for some guys where they say, look, Jonathan, I set up local service ads. It's not spending or I'm not getting any leads from it. So hopefully this video sheds light into helping you and assisting you on why your local service ads aren't spending money or why you're not getting leads from your local service ads as well. And for all of you all that don't know what local service ads are, local service ads are essentially ads that you can set up with Google and they're not Google ads, they're different from Google ads, but they show up at the very top right here as you guys can see. These are the local service ads, AKA known as the Google Guaranteed. These are the Google ads. This is the map pack right here and these are the organic results right there, right? So that's why it is pivotal for you to go ahead and set up your local service ads correctly because they show up at the very, very, very top before anything else, right? But without further ado, let's get straight into the reason why you may not be spending your Google ad, you know, you're spending your budget when it comes to local service ads and not getting any leads. So the biggest thing when it comes to local service ads, since we talked about the rankings and where they are, as you know, they show up at the very top. So the biggest thing that you want to go ahead and do is make sure that your ad is always showing in this top three. It's kind of like the map pack right here, right? You always want to show that you always want to go ahead and make sure that your business is showing up in the top three all the time consistently because local service ads with you spending your money and getting leads from it is essentially just being at the right place at the right time because nobody else is going to go ahead and look at the local service ad that's all the way down here they're just not going to when people are searching they're going to you know they're going to click these three results they're going to click these two results right and they're going to go down to the map pack they're not going to go scroll the local service ads and do all of that they're not doing that so the biggest thing that we're going to talk about is ad rankings, right? And this is straight from the horse's mouth of Google, right? Support.Google, local services help. So I'm going to be going over this because really the only thing that matters is your ad ranking. How well are you positioned to show up at the right place at the right time for multiple search queries? So the first thing that we want to go ahead and make sure is your verification status and whether or not you've obtained the Google badge of trust, which is Google screened or Google guaranteed, right? Providers with the badge will rank above those without them. And so what Google's talking about is, is your profile just Google guaranteed, right? So if you go here and we click at and we look at all of these pressure washing businesses right here, right? This green, as you can see, the green check mark. What that indicates is your business is Google guaranteed. And so all of these businesses are Google guaranteed. And then you see these businesses right here that don't have the Google guarantee at all. These businesses will never rank above these businesses. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you didn't just say, Jonathan, I set up my profile, but I didn't go through the verification process. And what is a verification process? Right, so the verification process, I have a whole video that I will include in the description below that goes over how you can set this up and how you can get verified step by step. But just to quickly go over this right now is in order to become Google guaranteed, you need to submit your proof of insurance, right? And it needs to get accepted by Google. You need to take the background check. And unless you were not El Chapo or you weren't, you know, a mass murderer, you will be able to pass a background check right you want to connect your google business profile right here for customer reviews you want to set your budget and make sure that you got a valid business card right in the bill in the billing information once all that's accepted by google you will all of a sudden have that google guaranteed and that's the first step in the game right second step in the game is your bid the amount you bid is maximum amount you're willing to pay for a lead that you may end up paying less and so this is, a, this is one of the second reasons why, second most reasons why I see guys not ranking because what they'll do, right, when they come down to their budget, they'll get, and they'll get to the budget right here, which I'll just go right here to do this. They'll go to the budget and they'll put, ah, oh, man, I'm not really trying to spend that much. I'm going to spend like $50 per week, right? You don't want to go ahead and do that. For some of my clients, what we do, sometimes I might just start off really aggressive because you're not going to spend... The demand that the exterior cleaning industry warrants, whether you're in Florida, Georgia, in the most busy areas, you're not going to be spending $4,000 a week on local service ads. But as you guys can see right here, the amount you bid is a ranking factor. As you guys can see, your bid is your ranking factor. And I, and I truly believe Google did this in the order of importance, to be honest with you, right? 
But your bid plays a pivotal role. So if you're not seeing the results that you want, you probably need to raise your bid. I've raised my client's bid as a, you know, all the way up to like 10,000, right? And you guys might be thinking, Jonathan, if I do 10,000 per week, you know, Google might charge me, Google might charge me $10,000 for just two leads, $5,000 a piece. No, they're not. They're not gonna go ahead and do that with their algorithm. They're definitely not gonna go ahead and do that. And the thing is, is it automatically tells you how many leads you can expect. And I'm pretty sure anybody in the exterior cleaning industry would not mind getting 333 leads for $10,000, right? Because you'll turn those 333 leads, like I said, into $10,000 worth of work any day of the week, right? But sometimes you have to go ahead and make sure that you change your bids to be super aggressive because if you're in an area, which we'll get to in a minute, that has a low population, then at that point, you definitely need to show your ad and you need to be as aggressive as possible, right? Because you're not gonna spend this budget. You might spend, I've, the most I've seen people spend in local service ads in the exterior cleaning industry is like $1,000 at the most, right? Because usually those leads are super cheap, you know, unless a person's running every single kind of campaign. But I've seen the most be anywhere between $1,000 and $1,500, right? So you need to adjust your bids. M the biggest thing is adjust, adjust your bids and like I said, when it comes to the bidding, the bidding mode, I just do let Google set the right bid, right? Because like I said, maximize leads, go ahead and let Google do that. So that's what I recommend that you guys do. If you're not seeing the results, you probably need to go ahead and change your bid. Next thing is, is how likely is your ad, you know, gonna result in this? The biggest thing I see in this right here is your responsiveness to customer inquiries and requests. Missed calls may negatively affect your responsiveness, which your responsiveness affects your ad ranking. Let me give you guys a quick story. I had a client who set his budget, right? He did everything right. He had the Google guaranteed. He set his budget to like $5,000 and $10,000 per week, which was way more than his other competitors, but his stuff was not showing up in the top three consistently. What I went ahead and took a look at was, is that this guy's never answering the phone, right? Never answering the phone. We had gone to his leads, and this is our profile because I don't want to show any of our clients' information, but under these leads right here, I just saw a bunch of missed calls, no responses. And so the thing about this is you want to make sure that you go ahead and you respond to your clients because once you don't respond, it's... I will say this, if there's any death wish when it comes to your local service ads, the biggest death wish is not responding to the clients. If you don't respond to the clients at all when it comes to your local service ads, it's gonna be very difficult to recover from that. I've just seen it in the past. You have to be very aggressive um, going forward if you have not been responding to clients. It's the hardest thing that I've seen. I've overcome it with a couple of clients that came to me with it, but like I said, it takes time. It's the hardest thing to overcome. So these are a few tips that you can go ahead and use to make sure that your responsiveness is good, right? Have somebody dedicated back here when it comes to the leads. You wanna make sure that they're going through this and that they're looking at the leads or responding to it, all of that. Now, one thing I tell people, turn off messaging. Number one, I just have seen it when it comes to this, like a lot of guys will have message leads. Customers can contact you by message and email in addition to calls. I would turn this off. Don't let customers message you because messages get overlooked. Emails get overlooked. We usually give it like a 24 hour limit, right? Where we say, oh man, but if you on a, if you're getting like 20 inquiries, you know, every month at the very least, let's say you're getting 20, but there's two or three that you're taking really long to respond to, that's going to negatively affect your ranking. So I, I recommend businesses, turn off your message leads, have customers only be able to call you because then you at least know and you can verify that, all right, then this was a call and it's not going to get overlooked. Even though I've seen clients overlook calls. Number two, guys, when it comes to the ad rankings, right? When it comes to customer responsiveness, because what Google is not going to tell you on this, right? What they're not going to go ahead and tell you is going to be, is going to be your hours that you're open, right? The hours that you're open, because when it comes to what's a customer searching for, how relevant you are, all of this, I'll get to that in a minute. But make sure that in order to have your responsiveness, that your Google Business profile hours are actually the hours that you are answering the phone and responding to your clients and customers because that's gonna play a factor in it, right? If you say you're open 24 hours, that means your local service ad is gonna be showing 24 hours, you know, seven days a week. 
And if you're getting messages, if somebody calls you at 12, at, at 1 a.m. in the morning, if somebody were to call you and you don't answer and it take and you don't respond, you know, until that Monday and they called you on a Saturday at 1 a.m., that's going to negatively impact you. And I know, I know you say, Jonathan, you know, that's, that's unreasonable. It is unreasonable. But like I said, you can hear from the horse's mouth right here of Google. Responsiveness matters. And I've seen that myself. So I always tell people, turn off this messaging thing right here and only set the hours that you're available to go ahead and answer customer inquiries and questions, right? Let's go on to the next thing when it comes to this, because like I said, responsiveness, respond, respond, respond. Now, when what a customer is looking for, right? The context of a customer search, for example, right? They talk about that. So searching time, location, and other characteristics, right? So if you're really in the business of trying to get as many leads as possible, you know, you need to make sure that your job types, I've seen it before. I've seen guys when it comes to job types right here that they have like power washing or pressure washing marked off. They might have, you know, services that they want to do marked off. So make sure that the services you want to have, you go under your profile and budget and you go under job types and you make sure that you have it to where it's showing, right? If you want to do gutter cleaning, make sure it's active. If you want to do window cleaning, make sure it's active, right? I've seen guys where this stuff is like this, it's saved and they're wondering why, you know, their stuff, well, like I said, a minimum of one active job is required. So I guess Google changed that, but yeah, you have that, but they're like, Jonathan, I'm not getting any window cleaning leads. I'm not getting any pressure washing leads. Well, have you changed your services in here? Because as you know, Google just recently added pressure washing search terms as local service ads. It used to only be window cleaning, but now it's in you know big metropolitan areas. Like I said, pressure washing terms also get local service ads to be triggered. So as you know right now, you, you wanna make sure that you have the available services that you wanna do active. So that's one thing, right? Because that's going to come up with a customer search. Now, how relevant your business is for the customer search, for example, services you provide, your business bio, and in proximity to potential customers' locations, right? So in that sense, one thing, you want to have an optimized Google business profile, right? You want to make sure that you guys, which I will talk about in the next thing, you want to make sure that you're getting reviews. You want to make sure that you're constantly, consistently getting reviews, that you're building up your business profile. Also, to bring it back to the hours, is some of you guys are exact opposite. Instead of saying that you're open 24 hours, you guys will say, well, we're only open nine to five. But if you still answer the phone till seven, then yeah, go ahead and adjust your hours because your, your ads aren't gonna show or they're not gonna be prioritized at all in the hours that you are closed. They're not gonna show in the hours that you're closed. So remember that, right guys, remember that. And so, when it comes to the context of a person's search or how relevant your business is and the proximity of it, you want to make sure, too, that you have your service areas and your locations where they need to be at. I see too many guys trying to cherry pick where they'll be like, I only want to be in the rich areas, right? And they'll just put like certain cities like, you know, if I was out here, I'd say like Wesley Chapel, right? And as you can see, that's it's a little bit smaller, but they're like Wesley Chapel and they cherry pick. If you see that your ads aren't performing as well as they could, go ahead and widen your radius. Don't exclude so many areas and widen your radius, right? Go ahead and widen your radius because I see guys try to cherry pick this. And when you try to cherry pick your location targeting, it doesn't end up working well local service ads because still to this day, local service ads or Google ads still get way more traffic than the local service ads. They, they, they do, right? So as I always tell you guys, 70% of people, you know, click on organic results, right? They click on these organic results, like the top three down here and the map pack right here, right? 70% of people. The other 30% of people go ahead and they click the ads. So 70, 30. So let's make it an even number. If you have a thousand searchers, that means 700 of them are going to go ahead and search in the organic area right here, right? For the map pack and down here. And the other 30% are gonna search right here and click a business that's right here, right? Which would be 300, because that's 30% of 1,000. And so out of those 300 searches, I would say Google Ads would probably get 200 to 250. Local service ads would get 50 to 100. So I still see Google Ads get way more traffic than local service ads, right? So that's why I say don't cherry pick when it comes to your location targeting. Don't cherry pick. 
raise, you know, widen your area that you're trying to target so that you can see where the demand is and you can go ahead and, like I said, contract from there, right? And reduce where you're targeting once you're getting those leads in that sense. So yeah, that's something that you guys would wanna go ahead and do. Look at your location targeting. Now, lastly, what I wanna go ahead and talk about is profile quality, right? Your rating and number of views factor into your profile quality. Higher quality profiles may rank higher and may also pay lower cost per leads. Reviews, reviews, reviews. So even on the SEO end, guys, like I said, it still plays a factor when it comes to this local service ad stuff. You wanna make sure that you have a lot of reviews. Google wants to make sure that if they're backing the customer that they're gonna get their money back through you guys, they wanna make sure it's a real credible business. So Google's going to go ahead and inflate or go ahead and prioritize businesses that have really good reviews over the ones that don't. So make sure you're getting your review game up. And a little trick here, guys, is that I will honestly tell you in this review section, when you go to your local service ads and you go to this review section right here and you see this ask for a review right here, right? So when you, after you've done and completed a job and you close it out and you have some of these ask for a review, the reviews that you get from local service ads, even though Google won't say it, I've seen it personally and have data to back it. You know what I mean? What ends up happening is that Google actually play, puts more weight into the reviews that you get from a local service ad job than a review that you get from just, you know, whether it's on your Google business profile, right? So if you ask for a review right here, you need to, every time you do this, you need to have somebody go right here and just click ask for review, ask for review, ask for review, ask for review, because once you start to see the reviews pile up here, you'll see where it'll say like ask for a review, right? And like I said, the reviews that are on local service ads have a, are weighted way heavier than the reviews that you get just normally, right? Through a software like Nice Job or just organically through your Google business profile. So that's one thing too, is that once again, Google prioritizes the reviews that you get from local service ads jobs. So make sure that you're getting those reviews from those customers through the platform where you're asking for a review because you will see, you'll see your rankings shoot up from there. But yeah, guys, this is the conclusion of the video. Like I said, the main things, just to go ahead and conclude this video and to summarize it is, make sure that you're Google guaranteed, guys, and you go through the entire verification process, right? Make sure that you're messing around with your bids. If you're not seeing you know, your position where you want it to be at, bid more aggressively, right? Also, like I said, make sure that your Google business profile is set up for the hours that you're answering and responding to clients because your responsiveness plays a role when it comes to your ad ranking. Also, when it comes to what your customer is searching for, make sure you have the right services you know, included or enabled that you wanna go ahead and target. Make sure that your business info is correct for the hours that you're actually open and you're responding to, to customers. And lastly, make sure that you're getting those reviews organically and through the local service ads platform because the local serve, you know, reviews that you get from a local service ads job weighs more heavily than just a review that you get normally or inorganically from your Google business profile. But other than that though, guys, hopefully this video sheds some light onto what you guys can go ahead and do so that you guys can get more sales, more leads with local service ads. If you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want a free strategy session and you need some help with your digital marketing when it comes to your exterior cleaning business, make sure to go ahead and click the link below for a free strategy session with us to where we go over your digital online presence. But like I said, once again, enjoy your guys the rest of your guys' day and we will see you in the next video.